It's chat time with Chunk and Cucumber and your host, Dino. Good morning. Hello. Good <laughs> morning, everybody. Hello. Hi. Friends. I haven't seen in a while. <laughs> Hi, and welcome to chat time. Uh, I'm your host, Dino, as always. And with me, of course, is Chunk and Cucumber. Hi. Greetings. Hey, and you may have noticed we have a guest today. With us today is Wildcat Jackson, Monarch of the West. Say hello to people. <laughs> well, hello. Hello there. Thank you, Dino and, and uh, everybody. Little Chunk and Little Cucumber, thank you for having me. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I should be offended, but I'm not. That was adorable. <laughs> I'm, I'm Little Cucumber. You look at yourself. Have, you, have you looked in the mirror lately, you little, you little cute little son of a bitch? <laughs> oh. <laughs> right, we're going to keep him. <laughs> <laughs> you too, Chunk. You too. I, I like him, Chunky and Fairy like that look at you <laughs> <laughs> that's good um, well I was, uh, I was talking about you dino <laughs> oh thanks yeah <clears throat> you know that's how i get the ladies chunky and furry yeah um you know and i are like it that way yeah mm-hmm. exactly also my eyes are different sizes as well yeah um <laughs> ever since the accident <laughs> Uh, I actually did have an accident where I, I, an, a rod fell in my eyeball. That's a story for another time. Anyways, uh, welcome we to We have similar time. stories, very different context. <laughs> <laughs> totally new meaning to rods and cones, am I right? I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> really smart joke I have for the day. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we find out more about Wildcat, let's get into our first segment. As always, let's go to But How Do You Feel? Oh. Transition. <laughs> I, I have a feeling there's some snappy transition music going on right now. There is, but all you get is us dancing awkwardly to it. No, that that's we don't even right. hear that's ourselves. The, it, it, you can't take the white boy out of not even the puppet, can you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, <clears throat> so Wildcat, we're not supposed to say the P word. It's minorly offensive. Everybody gets one, though, so oh, you're I'm all right. Sorry about it. Oh, sorry that's all. We, we prefer that. a felted friend, but thank you very much. Uh, it's all good. It's all good. But I can I was waiting for you all to day long. Is that oh, right? hell yeah. Okay. Yep. <laughs> but, <laughs> hi. So it, you just here. So that's good. You're you're still up high. Uh, I appreciate that, fellas. I didn't mean any offense by it. It's the first time I've I've worked with the uh, with with uh, characters of your ilk. <laughs> that's wow. good. It's nice. very diplomatic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, uh, Mastery cool. tiptoeing. <laughs> <laughs> so I, yeah. Go ahead. Oh, well, but how, today on But How Do You Feel, uh, because we got uh, a wildcat on the show today, I thought we would uh, we'd go the Western route. And I want to, I want you all to describe how you're feeling today using different buildings in an Old West town. Mm. Like, which building are you feeling like today? Huh. Yeah, it's a weird one. I know. We're going abstract. Hey, you gave us no heads up, so now I have to think about a real. I mean, I, I did I did mention it before, but you, you definitely were listening. Did. So. Yeah, somebody <laughs> has attention span issues, not necessarily. <laughs> and that would be if you knew what all the various buildings in an old western town would be. I mean, That's there are all true. kinds. Am I right? The the livery yeah. stable and the the Let's dentist see. office and the saloon. Yeah. And the outhouse. And the outhouse. Very important. I didn't even think of that. I don't. I don't even. <laughs> Hey, sometimes you're having a bad day and you feel like an outhouse, you know, just being shit and mm-hmm. shit and shit on the whole time. <laughs> I would say, uh, I got mine. I, I feel like a bank. I, okay. I, I sort of, I feel pretty good today. So I feel like a million bucks, but I also feel heavily guarded and like I'm ready to go off on somebody like a shotgun. So I'd say, uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a good Whoa, bank. You, you are a clever little devil. That was, that was really good. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Good for you. Good for you. I got my own. You, uh, he, he's smarter than he looks. Yeah. What the fuck are you trying to say, Dino? <laughs> Nothing. Nothing to court. Right, cool, cool, cool. Just checking. Just Just checking. checking. <laughs> <laughs> Holy cow. Say that again. No, 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 no. No, I want it to be organic. I want it to be Thank organic. you. Good. I'm glad. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to need one of these. I can tell already. <laughs> Is that a beer? Uh, no, it ain't no beer. It's just oh. an yeah. <laughs> 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 Now I can have a good excuse for seeing um, you fellas. I, I won't use the word that you, but anyhow, hey, mazel tov. <laughs> well, <time. I> <laughs> yeah, boy, that'll wake you up in the morning. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a good show. Uh, yeah, yeah, I feel I need it. Uh, Who turn is it for the building stuff? Whoever's next. You got something, Wildcat? Sure. I like the I like the old schoolhouse myself. 
uh, only because uh, old school houses have a have a really pretty teacher in it and a, and an old rusty school bell. Uh, and usually when you get in trouble, they have a paddle. So that just reminds me, if I play with my dingling in front of the school mom, I might uh, I might get a whack or two. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Which is what the goal is, I'm saying. Yeah. I'm assuming. <laughs> Wait, did not see that coming. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you didn't see that coming? Come on. You dropped the first half bomb this morning. With a nigga like cucumber, how could you not see Oh, I saw it coming. Come on, Chunk. Catch up. Catch up. <laughs> <laughs> we also have a rusty old bell here we call him ryan <laughs> uh, hi ryan I, I, i'm gonna go with i feel like uh midday at the saloon uh, oh. uh because I, i'm used to the morning when there's very few people here and 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 then all of a sudden as transitioning into the day i am surrounded my and my little introvert heart is is having issues with it because there's way too many people to be around <laughs> in one place and this might not make sense to you, but it is a lot of sense to the rest of us. <laughs> you know what? It don't matter. You're adorable. Look at yourself. <laughs> I, can do I just want to shove cookies down your throat right now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, at you. Look at that. Or oh, shove you in a trash can or something. I don't know, but uh, yeah. I like that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm still honored to be with y'all right now. Uh, all right, fellas, what do you got next, Ed? You know? Yeah, um, I think I'm uh, I'm feeling a, a bit like a, the the jail cell in a very small town where it's just it's just one one jail cell with one drunk guy in it, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, I feel I feel like I'm 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 feeling kind of I'm not hungover, but I didn't sleep well, so I'm feeling like that guy in the cell. Right, where I'm, I'm I'm waking up and I'm looking for <laughs> looking for my way. Like, where am I going? What am I doing? Lightning but, uh, pickled. What? Mm -hmm. Lightly pickled. Lightly pickled. That's right. Um, my cucumber is pickled. Uh, you're welcome. Okay. <laughs> the the word you're looking uh, for you're is welcome. drunk, Dino. Thanks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I am uh, flabbergasted and uh, a very uh, pleasantly surprised. <laughs> <laughs> to you uh, thank you wildcat well, what about you ryan how are you feeling today uh I, i'm thinking i'm feeling a little uh like delivery stables like uh from back to the future so a little bit of science a little bit of uh blacksmithing and stuff just crafty uh. shoehorning some steampunk in there yeah exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's me today i like it i like it <laughs> cool are you sure? I don't know if you have the energy to slam any metal, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, uh, oh, man, look at that. He's getting more. Um, hey, hey, real quick. Do you mind if I mention? Uh, sure. This is a Firestone Flyjack. Uh, this is an oh, IPA. Yeah. yeah uh, 96. It's a pale ale. Uh, they're not giving us any money, so that's all I'm going to say. But that's what I'm having right, <laughs> right now. That looks good. I do like Firestone. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, you can get yourself a big old uh, pack of stuff like that, like a variety pack at Sam's Club or something like that. Oh yeah. Sam's Club, wonderful. It's beautiful. You get everything <laughs> you need there, hot dogs and pizzas and beer and, and lots of toilet paper. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Lots of toilet paper. Right now, everybody's getting toilet paper. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I feel like people are scared again. Well, if uh, I, have to, I will have to have lots of toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> you, you, so, you, wait, you said that people are getting scared again. I Are you like... referring? You referring to what's happening on the outside? No, no. I mean, they're scared of us. Mm. Yeah, uh, people you. watch our show. They get scared and they feel like they don't want to leave their house, so they just stuck up on toilet paper. I understand. I understand. Uh, yeah. what's, what's next? Uh, you. Uh, it's, oh, it's oh. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you say? Let's talk about smoking gun. <laughs> What's well, next? Well, <laughs> well, we might as well talk about you. Oh, Wildcat. look at you! You're really adorable, right about me. <laughs> hey, hey, look at look at this little fella right over here. Hello, little, little host. <laughs> um, listen, that's that's if that's what it takes for people to like me, I'll take it. Um, <laughs> tell us about you, Wildcat. What do you do? What do you what do you what do you do with your time? What doing oh, especially well, right well, now. well I, I am in case you have not uh, been aware or in case you have not researched me while you're watching this show right now mm -hmm. I am Wildcat Jackson monarch of the west mouth of the south purveyor of all that is strange and curious I am a wild west showman of sorts I have my own wild west extravaganza off of highway 15 in between the jiffy lube and the yum yum donuts and right there 
you walk in for a very low price and you can see all kinds of oddities and curiosities. In fact, as we've been talking this morning, I have been eyeing chunk and cucumber. Feathers, feathers, have you ever considered being in show business like for real? Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every like, day. I mean, under, under the big top, like inside of a dark room with all kinds of lights on you and people staring and poking at you for 20 Yeah, it's like my first days. audition. I usually have to pay for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> no, well, well, no more. I will treat you like kings. I, 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 I can bring you in and have you as headlining acts. You could probably, like, yeah, put you in some sort of, uh, like, little uh, cage match or something, and I, I'll, I'll, like, duct tape some, uh, some like, butter knives to you or something like that. You can go at it. <laughs> go at each other, like, uh, to the death or something like that. How do you feel? Like a little gladiator match kind of thing. How about that? I, I do have a lot of aggression I would love to work through. This actually yeah. sounds fantastic. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm, you I'm, fellas would be great at it. You're very, um, you're very uh, camera friendly. And you have tons of charisma. I mean, look at you, Chunk. Look at you. I mean, look at me. Who's ain't got nothing on you? <laughs> a man, a few words. I like that. You are strong. <laughs> <laughs> Is, am I wrong? Is he not a man of few words? <laughs> well, yeah. Just give me a minute. <laughs> give me a minute. Give you some time to catch up. All right, all right. Maybe we'll give you a, uh, give you one of these. And anyhow, um, I I have uh, been known to uh, showcase uh, certain oddities and uh, uh, sideshow uh, yeah. exhibits, if you will. You, in fact- Do you have anything with you? Uh, well, 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 of course I do. Of course <laughs> I do. I have something that someone actually uh, left with me. They claim it is from the, uh, from the Orient, and I would like to show it to you today. This Ooh. is the first time anyone has seen it. Uh, oh, wow, first time. This, this morning. First time. I, I, this morning, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, ladies and gents, <gasps> boys and girls, I give to you for the first time this morning, I give you the world's largest shrunken head. There it is. There it is. Right the world's right largest there. shrunken head. What? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on a second. It's been a. Let me, let me go ahead and clear, clear it up a little bit. Oh, yeah. It's there a, you go. Looks yeah. fairly fresh. Oh, oh yeah. Holy cow. Uh, hello, hello, shrunken. How are you this morning? Shrunken bird. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> you don't mind if I tap on the glass, do you? I hear they hate them. They don't like that. Yeah. Hey, 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 Dino, do you have any questions for Shrunken Head? Uh, yeah, Shrunken Head. Um, wh uh, where are you from? Where, uh, where, where's your body? Shrunken Head. Oh, shrunken Head. Is that Utah? Is that... He's only yeah. He, he's only a Shrunken Head for Lord's sake. Uh, yeah, shrunken Head, Utah. Can you see him all right? Uh, look at him. He's very fashionable. He has gauges in his ears and everything. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. I I don't know exactly where where he is from, but he looks like he's very old. Shrunken. How old are you? Shrunken Head. <laughs> We're gonna. Uh, that's about as far as we got with the bit, fellas, when we wrote it this morning. Hey. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you are you taking? Are you gonna be? Uh, are you gonna be participating in the election coming up? Who are you gonna vote for? Shrunken head. No, no, don't do that. Everybody did that before, and look what, what look where we're at. Right now. <laughs> no third parties. <laughs> uh, 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 hey, Shrunken, I tell you what, I know that you you have to go. You you we're gonna have to let you go right now because we got other things that we got to do. But I appreciate you visiting with us right now. Everybody say goodbye to Shrunken Head. Hi, Shrunken Head. 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 Uh, there you go. Say goodbye, Shrunken. Shrunken Head. Yeah, well, I didn't see that coming. <laughs> <laughs> there you are. There you are. There, there he goes. Yeah. Well, I, uh, I, I am just a tickle to have uh, the, the opportunity to share share my uh, antiquities like that mm -hmm. with all of you out there. Uh, that Where do you a... find such wonderful toys? Uh, goodwill. <laughs> 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 Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's all kinds of crazy, pe crazy things over there. Uh, goodwill. Well, anyway, uh, here's to you again. Here's to you. <laughs> well, it's um, always so full. <laughs> <laughs> what are you challenging me? What are we... <laughs> <laughs> little, little purple bastard. Hey, hello. <laughs> Whoa. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You're green bastard. Green bastard. Hey, you know what? If you like, if you like, uh, Dino, I can do something for you right now. Uh, oh yeah. Sure. Um. Let's see. Let me put this. Uh, you fellas don't mind if I keep my weapon with me right now, do you? Uh, I mean, yeah, we're far enough away. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> uh, anyhow, all right. So I have Is something that a yum, that yum I show you. It's a very, <laughs> very down and dirty <laughs> little cucumber. I have something very down and dirty. This is uh, something that I can do for you right now. You've probably all seen this before uh, the last time you went to a circus sideshow. This is called the human blockhead. 
Oh you know, gosh. You know about this. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, this this is a genuine. Um, well, that don't sound that don't sound very threatening when I. But anyhow, that's a real that's a real na- a nail steel steel nail. Um, wow. It doesn't press or bend or, or or fold or nothing like that. That's the real deal. If I had somebody here with me, I would have them check it for you. But uh, you're gonna have to trust me on that. Uh, so <laughs> what I'm gonna do, and I suggest that you don't try this uh, at home, is I'm gonna go ahead and take it and place it in. My- no, you shake your head. It's gonna happen, Ryan. <laughs> 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 you go ahead and place it in your nasal cavity like so and actually I have a mallet but you know what let me see I like the sound that it makes oh. I like the sound that it makes with the glass so let's yeah oh no let's try it let's try it that way can you see the angle on that yeah all right we'll yes, place sir. it in there like that oh let's see can you am I close enough uh-huh, uh-huh. yeah uh-huh. uh all right, there it is. We're only pot way, pot way in right now. Okay, now. It's really going in. It's not compressing. It's not folding up like a piece of sponge or nothing like that. <laughs> I mean, we you've been practicing with the, the COVID testing, huh? Yeah, I know. You know what? Uh, that's that's very much like a COVID test, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> remind me not to go to that clinic. Ugh. Uh. And there it is. There it is. I don't know if you can, you can see that right there. Right, right there like that. How about that? Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. And here, here's something. Now, if somebody was, was with me live, I would have them pull it out. But I'm going to go ahead and do it myself. Uh, here we are. Ready? All right. Uh, Dino, you do the honors. You count to three. Okay. One, two, three. Ah. Ah, there. Oh. Oh, that looks like blood on that. That was... That was- <laughs> That was longer than I remembered. No. <laughs> that ain't blood. No, it's it's no, it's not. So uh, go ahead and put that. <laughs> I know. Every time you do this, you got to do that stupid joke. Everybody, everybody does it. And there it is, everybody. There it is. The, human, the human blockhead. The human blockhead. Yeah. If you're really good, you can shove all kinds of things up there. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least that's what they used to say in the 80s. <laughs> 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 they, uh, oh, man. Come, uh, it's going down a little bit. You know what it is, is that big old chunk of ice is, is melting, so it's it's filling it up a little bit. Ah, uh, I see. I see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, is, that, oh. that beer sounds really good. Now I have to go find oh, it. Oh, well, yeah, I know it. I know it. Uh, normally, I have myself a, a hair of the dog in the morning because the night before, it usually gets pretty crazy. I love myself a good bloody Mary in the morning. Mmm. And then yeah. she has to go, and then I have myself uh, one of these IPAs. <laughs> Was that too gross? You didn't like it? No. Oh, Dino, Dino like that. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Some people aren't really on paying attention. Well, anyhow. Uh, <laughs> That that is what I uh, that is among yeah. some of the things that I that I do, and I can plug uh, where you can see that later. I don't have to plug it now. Yeah, well, I was gonna say, um, what uh, what is the what's the coolest place you ever did a show? Oh, the coolest place. Yeah. Well, we got hired by a, by a bunch of Italian mobsters in Little Italy at one time uh, to perform in a free walk-in freezer, and uh, there uh-huh. was only uh, there wasn't really anybody else in there. I, I, I luckily I got it out of there with my life. But uh, anyhow, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, oh What'd yeah. What'd you do uh, to provoke that? <laughs> None of your business. Of your business. Okay. Uh, hey, I have something. I, I I have something. I think you fellas would like. It's not a it's not a trick at all. But um, I just wanted to show off that I, I have some of these. Oh, oh I know, look at I that. Know you guys would get little reactions with that. Look at the head. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? When you hold them in your hands, that's when it's a good, it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I have I have a. Uh, I have some of this, some of this right here. Oh, nice. D8s. Yeah, yeah. Now, Ooh. I'm assuming that uh, most of your viewership knows exactly what this is. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, the, those are the kinky has, ones, so you got to be careful with those. Well, well, oh, really? And then, and then I have uh, I have some of this action right here. Oh, mm-hmm. classic D6. 
<laughs> you got the whole collection. Now you're talking dirty to me, boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, classic DC. Yeah. Uh, anyhow, I don't know if um, if uh, I really personally, I don't know much about that sort of thing myself. So maybe uh, you can one of these days when you have uh, some time, you can clue me in on on that. But yeah, uh, we have someone here in the studio who is uh, very well versed in in uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Can I say that? Is that all right? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, right. sure. D and D, and uh, he's <laughs> schooling me on it. He thought that you fellas would love that, so he asked me to to bring on. These are his own personal. Uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, we the, the, we definitely do a lot of that on, uh, on Perception Studio. Mm. Uh, uh, yeah, no, no, no <laughs> doubt, no doubt. Uh, we we took a road trip and we were in Wyoming and we stopped at a game store in Wyoming and we wanted to buy him some dice so he could have a pair of dice from different states. But he was feeling a little shy that day, so he didn't. Uh, <laughs> plus, we were keeping our distance because of quarantine. And so the fe- and I have to say, of all the places that we visited out of state, the fellas in the game stops and the, not game stops, but in the game store, the game shops, they were the most respectful. They were playing. They were actually playing a game in the back, but they all had masks on. Yeah. Nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I was very, very impressed. Very proud of them. Mm-hmm. Nerd, yeah. Nerds know what's up, you know. This is for them. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They, oh, you got you got something too. Yeah, it's not alcohol, but it's it's there. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. I understand. You gotta you gotta uh, be healthy and and so forth. Yeah. Well, I had I had to, uh, way too much coffee, so the the water is trying to balance that out. I had five shots of my drink today, so. Sure, sure. I understand. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm- you got you to gotta pace yourself in the morning. <laughs> yeah, I did not sleep well. So that's what I was saying. I felt like the drunk that was kind of hungover. <laughs> I, went, I, went, I went to Starbucks and I got five shots of espresso. Oh, my. Um, my you're going to have to even at it some point. Yeah, <laughs> I will. I'll probably crash right after this. Oh. Um, so, Wildcat. Yes, sir. We have a thing we do on the show a lot uh, with uh, BuzzFeed quizzes. So I figured one would be appropriate to do with you today. Hmm. Uh, and this segment is called Let's Let the Internet Tell Us Who We Are. We had transition. I was going to say, the transition music right now? Yeah, it's transition. <laughs> uh, all right. We just dance right. awkwardly. Uh, yeah, uh, no, I bet it's very snappy, too. Yeah, Ryan brings out his, his nipple tassels. It's, it's a wonderful time. Really? Uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you got those rust-free tassels, because I had some issues with that one time. Right. <laughs> <laughs> There's a permanent ring well, around. Good day, good day, hey, thanks for the cheers, Sir Eldor. Oh, thank, no, you. thank you. Uh, and don't forget, yeah, so we, uh, chat, if you have questions for Wildcat Jackson, make sure you post them in the chat so we can get to them. Yeah, any, any questions at all, if you have any, uh, any you know, impressions, this or that, any of the, the regular stuff, uh, put it out in the chat. Um, and then uh, I'm, I'm sure that Dr. Know-It-All will make an appearance in a bit. <laughs> so we get those ready for us as well. Well, wait, so you have you have people that can interact with us live, like input, like mm-hmm. right now? Yeah, 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 they're chatting with us right now. Yeah, what the technology these days are, it's just fascinating. <laughs> I can have a flip phone. Yeah? Yeah, you fellas are on top of it. Now, now that, does that mean that I can interact with them as well, that I can answer them in real time as well? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. sure. If you, if you have the chat open, you can see uh, you can see what they're saying uh, real time, answer questions, and respond to whatever. Oh, my. My, my. Well, I don't think anybody wants to know about little old me. But if they do, I'm an open book. I, I'll answer anything, anywhere, anytime. Uh, you however, heard that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have a feeling that nobody is awake right now, though. Do people, we got uh, uh, get up this early in the morning. We got thirty five people watching. Get out of here! Yeah, really? Uh-huh. Yeah, you fellas know how it's done. <laughs> 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 Little chunk, you ain't so quiet after all, are you? <laughs> yeah. just, Not what it counts. Just exuding sexual prowess right now. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Beard on a Batman has a question for you. Uh, what yeah. is the title of the first chapter of that open book? Of yourself. Oh, the title. Mm. Oh, here we are with the intelligent questions. Uh, <laughs> I would say um, the first, the first chapter. Oh, um, well, it has to do with marriage. I know that for sure, <laughs> and I know what I know what the the tenth chapter would be regarding that. Because that's about that's close to how many wives I've had. But uh, oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, it would probably read something like um, "Can't wait for uh, 
can't wait for the honeymoon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And boy, I learned better, didn't I? Boy, yeah. oh boy. Let's not even go down that road. Thank you for the question. I'm sorry if my answer was not as uh, <laughs> it probably as fruitful as your question was, but that was a very well thought out question. Who asked yeah. that question? That was Beard on a Batman. Beard on a Batman. First of all, Beard on a Batman, I don't know what that means, but... Um, <laughs> but here's, here's to you. I don't even have to ask who you are because I know who you are now. You're Batman. So good, yeah. good, good for you, Batman. Uh, you can swing me a question anytime. Yeah. Uh, uh, you can find what, – what is this? From oh, you got, a, you got a few questions here. Uh, actually, uh, Jess, uh, little Jess Jess and little Adam say hello, by the way. Oh, look there. <laughs> hello. Hello, little uh, Jess, little Adam. <laughs> uh, they want to know how your cockroach is doing. Well, I'm glad you finished that sentence. Because I, <laughs> I haven't heard that in a couple of, couple of weeks. <laughs> I was getting uh, I was getting lonely for a minute there. Uh, I got you, well, okay. my cockroach is doing just fine. Thank you very much for asking. Uh, he he scared away. He was around here earlier, and I haven't seen him in a while. They are referring to one of my sideshow acts. Oh, I spiked the cockroach. He's the world's largest cockroach anywhere. We received him from Madagascar. Ooh. That's what I tell people, but he's really from Cerritos. <laughs> There's a lot of Vietnamese restaurants out there. Well, anyway. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, uh, oh, sorry about that. <laughs> you, said, you said, uh, anyhow, yeah. If you would like to see him do some tricks or something like that, you're happy to come to see one of our live shows. Uh, and uh, he, he's all kinds of fun. Uh, thank you for asking about yeah. that. Does anybody out there know where I can find another giant cockroach, uh, not have to leave the country, uh, about, about this big? I want to breed them. Mm, so I'm big? looking for a female, for a male. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you got to find a person, <laughs> put a personal ad on, on Craigslist. Yeah, you've heard that before, haven't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, and it's really for the cockroach. It isn't for my, it isn't for my, uh, it's for my cockroach. So, uh, yeah, I've anyway. seen this cockroach. He's not kidding. It's enormous. Oh, yeah, yeah. If anybody has one that can match up with it, it's a Sagittarius. He likes Chinese food and walks in the rain. And, uh, <laughs> he snores a little bit at night. The cockroach Just... does. The cockroach. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, that was excellent. Uh, what, what's a, now I'm addicted. What's the, is there another question? Yeah, there is. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, Tiger, uh, Tiger on, uh, 31 wants to know if you've read Dune. If I'm honest about this question, will I be ostracized from your group forever? Because I, I will not. I have not read Dune. Is that all right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. I highly recommend it. But yeah, you know, you, it's not a requirement. Well, thank He's you. He's secretly upset. You come by. You you intimidate me for some reason. I don't know why. <laughs> it's, it's the bags under my eyes and the shit I've seen. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, you know, I'm yeah, pretty you're such a friendly there. fellow. But I I don't know why you're just so confident about yourself. I don't know oh, what it is. Go on. <laughs> yeah. Well, is doing a recommended read. Uh, who was it? Tiger Thirty One. Is that what Tiger on Thirty One? Tiger on. Yeah. Uh, do you recommend that read, uh, Tiger? And uh, if so, uh, would you like to read it to me? Oh, oh, romantic! Wait, was that is that a male or female? I didn't. I don't know. Pretty sure it's a male. <laughs> yeah, I don't, don't like. Assume. I don't like. I don't like stories late at night. I, I get indigestion. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah anyhow, anyhow, but thank you. Thank you for that question. I appreciate yeah. it. Well, what's another one? What's yeah? Oh yeah, Hardliner wants to know how you maintain your facial hair. It is rather uh, lustrous. Oh well, thank you, Hardliner. I, I appreciate that. Well, um, lots of uh, lots of juice and berries, and uh, <laughs> lots of uh, a cool banquet before I go to bed. Uh, uh, <laughs> I actually, I, why does Ryan act like he's never heard of that before? Come on, Ryan. Your, your facial hair is very well groomed yourself. Uh, <laughs> what I find is if I rub the course banquet into the facial hair, it actually makes it nice and shiny. Uh, as okay. well as uh, drinking, a, drinking a six pack of it every day if I, if I can. Uh, Chuck, have you ever had course banquet before? I have not. What? What? Have you, you've never had yourself some yellow jacket? You, you ain't never had a good old fashioned yellow, yellow jacket, you know, a cool. Is he talking about wasps? What's happening? Oh, you, I said no, because I didn't you know just what told me. What? You, you little. You, well, if you're anything, you're not a wasp. You little bastard. You little, <laughs> it be Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come back from the south, genuine, genuine Southern California. Uh, <laughs> anyhow, uh, that was a good question. Thank you. Do you like my, you like my, uh, my naturally curly uh, black hair? 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Rob. I, I, I commend you on seeing through my wig, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> good, good, good be. Uh, what was there? I say another question. Uh, maybe. Uh, however, I don't want to tell you how to do your job, but. Um... Oh no, we got, we got one more. You're you're our guest. You do whatever you want. Um. Yeah. Uh, what's your take on candy corn? The Chris Glass wants to know. Well, hello, Christopher Glass. I always feel like whenever I, I hear a name like Chris Glass, it reminds me of that Brady Bunch episode when Jan made up that boyfriend, George Glass. <laughs> I, do you remember that? Yeah. Christopher, if that is your real name, Christopher Glass, uh, I love candy corn. A lot of people don't like candy corn, but I love it maybe because of the memories attached to it. And I love the things that you can do with it. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Don't. Oh, look at Ryan. Did you see Ryan? He went off into another. He's concerned. Home. I just saw a thought bubble pop up over his head. <laughs> and there was a donkey and Tijuana signs. That had, that had, that had, I, I, saw, I saw some uh, I saw some good stuff there, Ryan. You know, candy corn fits in all kinds of places. You know that, Christopher. That's why you asked. Uh, and it won't, it won't get moldy. <laughs> it's good to stay up there a long time. Sure, if you can do it with Altoids, why can't you do it with candy corn? Wait for it. <laughs> oh, see, Ryan, Ryan knows him. Ryan. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, I'll pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't know, maybe you don't. Chunk. Yes? How many girlfriends do you have? I, I mean, honestly, because you look like you probably have a harem of little furry blue beauties. Currently, uh, I, I like a uh, uh, couple. He prefers oh. to shave them. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you like that, are you? Oh. <laughs> good for you, good for you. I like that. What is what is your secret, Chunk? Because you, I feel like you are, there's a lot of things that you and I are talking about because you have a lot to talk about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen anybody make Chunk so quiet. <laughs> Guys, this is amazing. Oh, what's the matter, Chunk? What's the matter, little fella? <laughs> it's all right. I'm your friend. Yeah, <laughs> all at once. <laughs> listen, listen. If you join me in my entourage, I will make you a star. Okay. I know a fella. I know a fella in Baja, California, that knows exactly where to place you in his show. And uh, as long as you're not allergic to animals, we can make a killing. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna. Sure. <laughs> what, is, what is happening? I, I don't know. I didn't mean that. <laughs> Coffee kick in yet, bud? <laughs> Take it <a> over. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, you're safe with me, the witch. <laughs> uh, what what uh, what do you got in that uh in that chamber there? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I have uh, I have a flea circus in my act. And I have a menagerie of fleas, all kinds of fleas. I have a uh, baccalaureate fleas, and uh, I have a uh, lawyer fleas, and and I have uh, uh, I even have a bunch of uh, hippie fleas. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, the hippie fleas get into everything. I keep them around because uh, they laugh at all my jokes for some reason. <laughs> they laugh at everything. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're lazy sons of guns. But uh, anyhow. Um, they were supposed to uh, clean out my cannon. I use this for the for the uh, human cannonball, the flea cannonball act. Um, oh! But they converted it into something else. Needless to say, I uh, I enjoy this better. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is for this this blunderbuss is for medicinal purposes. However. Oh, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. For, for that condition. Glaucoma. <laughs> yeah, glaucoma. Of course, I gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> um, we do have one more question for you, uh, Sir Elder. Wants to know uh, what's Wildcat's favorite choice of beer. Ooh, Sir Elder, you sound like you're a man of uh, of, of distinction, Sir Elder. Uh, you probably like the alcoholic beverage yourself. As I was talking about before, I love me a yellow jacket, uh, an old-fashioned Coors. Uh, I don't really uh, prescribe to any of the light bull crap out there, like Coors Light or nothing like that. I mean, come on. Come on, what are we yeah. doing? Of course. <laughs> yeah, I mean, isn't that right, Chunk? Leave mm -hmm. that light crap home. <laughs> I mean, you're going to have the real stuff. Do, do you ever drink Diet Coke, Chunk? No, I like the sugar. <laughs> Chunk, you're very charismatic. Has anyone ever... No, I'm looking at you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> 
all the time. People tell me all the time. Well, why is your voice changing right in front of me right now? Like, you, you, you really... I, I don't make you nervous, do I? No, no, I'm good. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you and I should get tacos one time. I, I know this little place. Oh, yeah. On the east side, right next to a strip joint. And boy, they make the best of street tacos. Oh, look at Ryan's eyes. Well, there's Ryan. Oh, I always get Ryan's attention. Yeah, I bet you would love. We should all go out for street tacos. How about that, Dino? Yeah, I'm down. Do you love street tacos? tacos? I love street tacos. Bring that blunderbuss of yours. I w- <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You got a, uh, you got yourself a little pussy right there. I do, yes. Yeah, sorry about that, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan <laughs> I just keep going up every time I say something. <laughs> no, this isn't a classroom, Ryan. <laughs> yeah, Ryan. I mean, you act like a hey, can you come and say something. Say, just say something. Something, uh, Ryan. <laughs> uh, now he's now he's getting all embarrassed. <laughs> oh yeah, street tacos. However, I must say, lately I've been trying to watch myself. Have you fellas been gaining weight during this quarantine? Yes, a little, yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, I, I, I'm. I got like an extra fifteen on me, and I was only about fifteen to begin with. <laughs> I, I can't help it, and I'm trying. So right now. Please uh, strike me down, Dad. If if I if this is a dumb idea, but I'm kind of doing a vegetarian thing right now. Oof. I know what I know what I'm a red blooded American. I love a steak more than anything else. However, uh, all my numbers are up right now. Do you know what I'm talking about, Chunk? Yeah. All yeah. my my cholesterol, my hypertension, all all that. So I got to do something about it. However, I love me a bacon wrap steak. Mm. Oh, oh, medium oh. rabs all get out. Bacon yes. wrap steak mm-hmm. with uh, <gasps> with a nice tall pilsner filled with coolers, oh, old fashioned, none of that other bull crap. Uh huh. With some nice mashed potatoes. Oh yeah. Filled Cucumbers with are gonna mayonnaise. work out. Mm-hmm. Okay. And the chunky kind of mashed potatoes too. None of them. None of them wussy mashed potatoes. You, <clears> know, <throat> you know, you're actually drooling right now, chunky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. Hey, and I, I'll make some good old steaks. You fellas, uh, what do you fellas like to barbecue on the grill? Anybody have any preferences? <clears throat> I'm a grilled shrimp kind of guy. To yeah. Be honest. Like, I also love a steak, but few and far between. But if you, I'll do seafood anytime. Oh, I love surfing turf. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm hmm. A little jumbo shrimp. You, you fellas like clams? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I know, hey, a Chunk, I know you like oysters. I do, I do. <laughs> <laughs> You alright? I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. I know. Uh, I love. He's getting excited. <laughs> so he is now around shaking his head. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he's fed with it. Yeah, and uh, I love me. What kind of dessert do you fellas like with your barbecue? Oh, oh uh, with the barbecue. My some ice cream. Yeah. Ice cream's good. An, an ambrosia salad. A little bit I of like some f- pineapple and marshmallow goodness. Oh, that sounds good. That right. sounds good, but you're like out of an episode of The Wonder Years or something. Like, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I, I like that. Hey, one of these days when you do barbecue again, fellas, try this. This is really easy. Get yourself your favorite fruit, like a berry of some sort, like uh, blueberries or strawberries, maybe even banana, and you can make your own flambe. So you go ahead and you get yourself a piece of tin foil, make an envelope out of it, pour your berries into it, and then go ahead and drop some Kahlua in there with some brown sugar. Oh. Seal that up nice and tight and lay it on the grill and just don't take very long, flip it on both sides. And then you take that concoction and you pour it over some vanilla ice cream. Boy, oh boy, boy. And that's an excellent barbecue dessert because you can do it on the grill right next to your steaks. That sounds amazing. Oh, it is very simple. Very simple. What's that, Chunk? Never thought about dessert on a, on a barbecue. Like, what? Why, why not? I mean, there ain't no reason why you can't clog your arteries and get diabetes all in the same uh, <laughs> all the same outdoor meal. Yeah, you can have Very all efficient. Time. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ruby floats, too. Ruby floats are some good ones, too, because oh, yeah. you want something easy that you can do while you're outside. Yeah. Some- oh, that's fair. Mm-hmm. I didn't mean, I'm sorry, I deviated from whatever your, no. whatever your, uh, Agenda. Of work. This is this is our show, man. We we go on tangents all the time. That's what we rely on. Oh, good. <laughs> good, good. Well, I'm I'm glad. I'm, I'm yeah. glad. Uh, and I'm happy for the questions. The questions were leading us in the direction. Do do we have any any other ones right now? Yeah, we have one more, and actually has to do with the tacos, maybe a little bit. Uh, Option Delete wanted to know red chili or green chili when you get food. Um, red chili. I, I like my tacos to be as hot as they can be. Uh, however, you can't always get 
uh, hot, really hot sauce when you go out to the street unless you go to some place like East LA or something like that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, hey, if you fellas want to get some really good Mexican food at a little tiny taco stand, find yourselves in uh, in East LA, like in the Lincoln Heights area. I think the exit is the Cesar Chavez exit off of uh, the 5 freeway, and there's a little taco stand there that I've been going to since the 90s, if you can imagine that. Wow. And they are open 24 hours a day, and you can get yourself anything but anything. Hey, Chunk, do you yeah. Know what a, do you know what a lengua torta is? I love lengua torta. Those are the best. Ew. Aren't they the best? Yeah, lengua is the jam. Who doesn't love a little tongue before midnight? <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Oh, we lost Ryan. He's probably texting somebody right now about having tongue before midnight or something like that. There's something, <laughs> there's something called tripas de leche, Chunk. Have you heard of that? Tripas de leche? Mm-hmm. No. I just noticed, I just detected... I detected a slight Chicano accent coming out of chunks. Because uh, I'm from the Bay Area. Yeah, you, you, oh, wait, of course. Of course. <laughs> from the Mission District, then, of course. Uh, so, uh, yeah, there. <laughs> I don't know why I feel better when I hold this, but uh, <laughs> keep it right there. Uh, yeah, um, it is the intestines. Those are beef intestines. So they cut them up so they look like little pieces of beef macaroni. And then they grill them up nice. It doesn't sound, it sounds disgusting actually, but you put that in a taco and a torta. You fellas know what a torta is? Oh, yeah. yeah it's like right. a sandwich. Oh, you fellas are right on top of it. You, you are hipper yeah. than hip, boy. So is that, is that similar to, oh gosh, because buche is stomach, right? Does it taste similar to what you're talking about? Um, yeah, I, th- I think so. It depends on how they season it, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, we don't waste nothing these days. I mean, well, uh, Mexican food, it's been like that forever, I suppose. As long as I've been a knee-high to a fricker frack, I've been having uh, Mexican food, and they'll eat everything. I, the only thing I have not had is the brains. I have. Those are- I finally have. Oh, yeah. I haven't. You, you, have, yeah. you haven't? Well, well Chung, how do you like how do you like them? They're, they're all right. They're all right. Yeah, in a taco, or would you have them in? In like a little fried, like quesadilla thing. Like oh, deep, right. see now quesadillas, uh-huh. you can't go wrong because yeah. you can make those at home and you can make them. You can now. I don't. I don't go the way of the sour cream. I just do it simple. Oh uh, yeah, just the quesadilla. Mm-hmm. But you know what I like to do? Let's deviate from Mexican food for a second. Now sure. I, I like me a good old fashioned peanut butter sandwich, mm-hmm. toasted sourdough bread. Oh, yeah. Old-fashioned peanut butter, Laura Scudders. Yes, Laura Scudders! Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then cucumber, check this out. And then I take me a nice thin slice, I cut it myself, of feta cheese. Y'all know what that is? Yeah. Yes. Uh, now, I know some people are really grossed out by that notion, but you take the feta cheese and you place it in there. It's got a nice bit of saltiness that goes with the peanut butter. So you got that sweet and savory going on. Huh. And if you want to go uh, balls out, you go ahead and you take yourself some slices of jalapeno peppers and put them in there. Or some of your favorite hot sauce and put it in there. Boy, oh boy, I tell you what, they won't Uh-oh. have to wake you up today. Oh my God, I'm doing this today. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know. You probably, fellas, have you even had breakfast this morning? You start so early in the morning. I had a protein shake. I had a bro. Oh, had a bro- you, I don't know what you're thinking. Come on, you gotta, you gotta do it right. You gotta. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Protein shakes are probably healthier for you, though. We've been talking about gaining weight, and this is why. Talking about food all the time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, Corey was saying, Cucumber, what's the sandwich you like? Uh, pickles and mayo and peanut butter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, peanut butter, pickle relish, and, and mayonnaise is delightful. Um, and if you butter the bread first, it's even better. Wait a minute. Are you legit? Are you being, <laughs> are you being, are you being legit? Are, are, yeah, 100%. Or... 100%. Yeah. Yeah, so you got the you got the peanut butter on one side, also Laura Scudder, so whoop whoop. And then on the other side, you put a layer of mayo and a little bit of sweet relish, and then you, you just close that sucker up. <laughs> oh, oh I'm that? sorry. No, oh, no, I don't. I'm, I don't mean to judge. I don't mean to judge. I was just oh, pulling my heart out to you, and you fellas were being kind, and I that was rude to me. I, I you know what? I will try that. Well, any particular type of bread, or, or it doesn't matter at that point. Uh, well, I, I ha- I'm diseased, so I have to do uh, gluten-free bread, but I would recommend it on, on a nice wheat or, or like also a sourdough. Sourdough would be good. You want that tang. That's also why you do the relish, because you want that tang against the peanut butter. I, now, that I will agree with you. And, and sourdough, I mean, uh, I always have to have it toasted, even though sourdough is good no matter what. But especially if you're doing peanut butter, you toast that bread a little bit and mm-hmm. try to slap everything together when it's all nice and warm, and then it's 
so I'll ooze it. Now we were talking about Mexican mm-hmm. food and we were talking about uh, peanut butter sandwiches. Now you take a good old fashioned flour tortilla and you slap that with some peanut butter uh, just after you've heated it up and that that's nice and, and greasy and filling and everything, yeah. all kinds of goodness. Am I right? Uh, uh, Dina, I'm sorry. I keep pulling away from you. No, you're the guest. This is about you. I don't care. <laughs> really? Is it about me? They see my stupid face every day, every week. I kept telling my <laughs> ex-wife that, and she didn't agree with me. So here we go. <laughs> <laughs> about, about me. Uh, we, any other questions? Because I love those one questions. One more. Oh, really? uh, Connie, Dead, Deadly Nightshade 666 wants to know, um, do you prefer pozole or menudo? Okay, now look. <laughs> uh, this is the this is the debate of the ages. Now I like both, but there are those, however, that just will not. Do you fellas know what's in menudo? Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Now menudo, for those out there who do not know, is a trap. It's mm-hmm. the stomach lining of the cow. Now, I grew up uh, with it because where I'm from, we all just get together in harmony and just eat whatever. Mm-hmm. And uh, <laughs> the tripe is very is very chewy, so some people do not do not like that. However, I love it. Now, everything else is the same. So pozole is pork roast. That's the meat that you have. But it's got all the other ingredients. So the soup is a spicy red uh, soup, a caldo, they call it. And it's got hominy, if you know what hominy is. Yes. And then you put the garnishes in it. Um, cucumber, do you know what the, do you remember what the garnishes are that go in those soups? They, uh, there's like onions and cilantro and. Oh yeah. Yeah, and, you know, you know. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Used to get it every week. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh my. Oh, well, um, so I, I have to answer the question. Mm. I did say that I like both, but I will have to, I will have to make a decision. And I will have to say, since I eat pozole more often than not, I will probably have to say pozole. But if I want it for a special occasion, and I tell you, I will not eat the canned stuff. If I'm mm. gonna have it, I will have menudo fresh. Yeah. Fresh, just like, yeah, right right there. That's why I don't make it myself, because it's a lot of work. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What, what, now, who asked that question? That was uh, Deadly Nightshade 666. Uh, it's Connie, yeah. one of our, one of our, the members of our, of our family, too. Oh, oh hey, family. Connie, uh, what is it that you like? What, which one do you like? Because you obviously let us know. were thinking about it. Were you eating some right now? Is that why you asked? <laughs> <laughs> you planning I mean, on that'd making be nice. me some? Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, uh, do any of you fellas know how to make a, how to cook? Yeah, a little bit. A little Not bit. particularly well. I can follow a recipe, but I have no instincts. Mm. <laughs> you know what? You just have to practice. I mean, these days you can get a recipe just like that. Am I right, Dino? Yeah, absolutely. Dino, do you know how to make a good gravy? Let's see if you know what I'm talking about. A good gravy? If you're talking about sauce. Yeah, see, he knows what I'm talking about. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, the, the problem is that my family's not from the the, the, oh. uh, the east. <laughs> Sorry, I caught up. I caught up. <laughs> yeah. Did you catch up? Did you, did you get that? Yeah, see, I'm inferring to the fact that uh, the Dino is is a fellow of Italian heritage. Am I right, Dino? Yes. <laughs> well, with a name like Dino, I mean, come on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, so I know that uh, they always say that every respectable uh, person of Italian heritage will not use a ragu. Oh, well, I mean, if you can, if you can get something nicer, you'll get something nicer. You know, uh, my, my family, we used to, uh, go every, every Labor Day weekend, we would go to the tomato, uh, farms and pick 3000 plus, far, uh, pounds of tomatoes and make our own sauce for the whole year for the whole family. Mm. I've, I've, I've heard that. I've heard that that is, that is a tradition in, in, in a lot of families. Yeah. I've also heard that if one family wants to insult the other, they will say that their gravy tastes like ragu. <laughs> I, so I have, I've seen that firsthand. So uh, a lot of a lot of that is coming from like uh, New England Italians, uh, like from the like, East Coast. Mm. Uh, my family came straight from the, from from Sicily, so I we we don't really talk about it that way. You my don't mom, talk about that way. You just bust a cap in their ass when you exactly when you, uh, exactly. Your, we give them a pair of cement shoes and throw them. Oh, sorry, I keep coming. Here. <laughs> 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 yeah, as, as, you don't mess around with woods. I, I got you. Well, uh, <laughs> it, it takes a long time to make a good gravy out here. It is, does. is that true? 
It, I mean, it, it depends on how much you're making and what you're doing. It could be pretty simple if you're if you're just doing it on the pot and your own. Just put some, you know, put the tomatoes in and the p- tomato paste and just keep stirring it up until it until it happens. But uh, for us, when we would do like we have like we had an assembly line. We had like a washing station, a uh, boiling station. We had the the crushing station, everything. And so like the whole family got together and we would just bust out it over like two three days mm-hmm. enough sauce to last literally like my family, my grandparents and my my aunt and their family uh enough sauce for our whole family for the entire year that's so cool yes yeah, you, you still do that or no no well my grandparents passed away um hmm. a year a few years ago we do it they do it on smaller doses like within like in our own family like my mom will make a bunch of sauce uh still and my aunt and stuff and so we still have sauce but not nearly as much as we used to nice. uh, and it's it's more of they do it throughout the year rather than just at one one day during the year now uh I will I will mention something and I'll be very careful the way I mention it, but I have heard rumors uh-huh. that sometimes uh, certain folks will say that they have a secret ingredient in their sauce or in their gravy and it's actually uh, the secret ingredient is actually store bought. <laughs> and I wonder how specific. Am I right? I, without saying the specific words, am I is there any truth to that? Um, like they use store bought stuff in the sauce uh no. i think i'm i think i'm not putting up what you're picking up what you're putting they're, down they're, they're, they use a specific store-bought sauce oh as, as the base and then uh they will add all their own ingredients so that still oh. qualifies as a homemade sauce not everybody oh. does that but supposedly that is very commonly done i'm sure it is i mean i've done that too like when i'm when i'm because i don't what? live with my family anymore on you what you <laughs> well i i buy store-bought sometimes i, I have to because I don't have the materials to make my own sauce all the time. How dare you? I know, I know. But I do adjust it. I do change it up a bit, and I add my own stuff here and there. So uh, mm-hmm. I don't pretend like it's homemade. I know right. that it's store-bought. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, some people but yeah, nothing... that's what I hear. That's the thing. What is it? Mm-hmm. I said some people will pretend that it's theirs, and then they – Yeah. Because they've added – it's kind of like – remember the old fable of the stone soup? Yes. No, one of my favorite stories. Yeah, you, you just start off with with uh, with the rock, and everybody else is just throwing in all the real ingredients, and do you have a real soup? Yeah, oh. it's, it's it's also like the blueprint to be a con man. I love that book. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, this is perfect. You know, it just it needs a little salt. You. No, this is perfect. No, I knew you and I were on the same level. <laughs> I knew. Yeah, you're a confidence man yourself, are you? Well, good for you. <laughs> good for you. <laughs> yeah. I, I knew there was a reason why we we connected. Uh. Yeah, well, uh, I, I am. Uh, I just am tickled to be here with you, fellas. Uh, yeah. Any other questions? I, I can't tell with what I'm looking at right now. You know, I think uh, that's that is. Uh, oh, yeah, that was all the questions from the chat. We are we are getting to that time. I think I did want to maybe ask one or two questions from uh, from Doctor Know It All, just because you're on the show, and just in case you don't get to come on again very soon, I'd love to get to see you do uh, see how you handle these other people. <laughs> with Dr. Know It All. So we're going to jump into Dr. Know It All. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> You're going to need it. There you go. Uh, so uh, for uh, uh, for Wildcat and those of you in the chat who don't know, Dr. Know It All is our wonderful multi-headed expert. Dr. Know It All has four heads that look like Ryan, Cucumber, Chunk, and Wildcat today. <laughs> oh, yeah, so uh, this is your opportunity to ask Dr. Know-It-All any advice questions. We're just going to take a couple. So uh, whatever whatever the first few we get, uh, so if we don't get to yours, that's okay. We'll get them next time. Um, but uh, Wildcat, Dr. Know-It-All will answer the questions one word at a time, one head at a time. And we're going to go in a circle uh, until the question has been answered. Wait, so does that mean we, we are doing it? Yes, you are. Oh, I, I see. I see. And yeah. we are starting with you and we are going with who. We so start? it's going to be it's actually I'm I'm going to be asking the questions. I'm going to be part okay. of uh, I'm going to be hosting it, but it's going to go Chunk, you Wildcat, Cucumber, Ryan, and then back to Chunk. So Chunk, Wildcat, Cucumber, Cucumber. Ryan and Chunk. Yes, yep. we're going to go in that circle. OK, uh, and, and will that in, be indicated on the screen there with the little yellow uh, square? No, it will not. Oh, oh no, I, I won't. I, I <laughs> Just gotta remember, okay. chunk. Chunk is the best yeah. at remembering. So you're after chunk, and yeah, just remember you're after chunk. You're good That's to go. All I remember. All right, sounds yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So we have, uh, yeah, we have, uh, we have two questions already for Doctor Know It All. Uh, Doctor Know It All, um, Tiger on Thirty One wants to know what book would you recommend reading? Um, the 
best book I would recommend to read would be Wildcats. Amazing. Biography. Infinitum. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, and when we're, we're done, we bow. No, oh, yeah. So, oh, 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 right. when you finish, you bow. I forgot that part. Hey, that uh, was cool. <laughs> I got lost. I pulled the, I pulled the chunk. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you did. That was a good. That was good. That was nice and quick. Let's see if we can get through another one like that. Oh, wow. wow. <laughs> see, usually on the show, uh, Doctor Know It All is more of a, a painful experience <laughs> as we get through it. Oh really? Yes. Uh, maybe we'll see. <laughs> Not yet. Trust me. <laughs> uh, all right. So uh, Corey wants to know. Corey ever wants to know, Doctor Know It All. What was all that smoke stuff earlier? <laughs> she's she's a, a, a youngin, so maybe she doesn't. Um, <laughs> Oh, oh what's sorry, you Corey. All right. <laughs> the smoke stuff from earlier was none of your business. <laughs> my goodness, my goodness, how old is Corey? She, no, well, she's an adult, but she's infinitely 12. <laughs> yeah, no, she's, she's, a, she's a grown up. Business, if you really want to know, come on over and I'll show you. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? <laughs> uh, I can imagine Corey is, is laughing and, and blushing right now. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Corey is one of our, our perception family as well. <laughs> is, she, is she a crew member? Yeah, yeah. she is. Well, oh, Corey, thank you for all that you do. Thank you for your hard work, whatever it is that you're doing. <laughs> uh, and, and where are you? Do they have you like, are, are you chained to something right now? <laughs> I don't know, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> they, have, they have you in a Dungeons and Dragons basement somewhere. <laughs> is that how, like how that works? <laughs> well, then my next question is, what are you wearing, Corey? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, look at we lost John. Yeah. Oh, There's Corey. Hi, Corey. How are you? Hi. Thank you for your participation and your hard work. <laughs> Corey, I'm so glad you're a good sport. Um. Oh, I, I feel that she is, and she's working with you, with you, Rast the Bass. She's kind of yes. has to be. She, has to be. she seems very lovely. Very lovely. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, we got a couple more to get okay. really quick. Um, let's see if I can get to these two. <clears throat> Dr. Know It All, uh, what makes a great barbecue sauce? Oh, I skipped a couple. Uh, barbecue sauce is great with olives and sardines with pickled herring fried the hell kind of barbecue sauce <laughs> <laughs> I'm I know we're playing a game but Jesus <laughs> uh, uh, do, we, do we wrap it uh, Brad uh, I don't even know what to say anymore this is not I need a hit or something, and I don't even know what. Oh, wrong man. one! Wrong one! <laughs> <laughs> suck on that one. <laughs> um, okay, let's do. Let's see if we can do some rapid fire really quick. <clears throat> Here we go. Uh, what, why is Chunk so quiet today, Doctor Know It All? Chunk. Yes. So quiet because he is taken back. Brian, you just screwed that up. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call it. I don't even know yet. And I, I think it's the it's the blunderbuss that talked to me. Uh, sorry about turn that. the air on. It's hot. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, of course it is. Course. <laughs> let's uh, let's go. Let's move on to the next one. All right, all right, we're doing great. All right, all right here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> uh, Doctor, oh no, I already did the one. Um, Doctor Know It All. Uh, Chris Mack wants to know when will COVID end? 
COVID will end when everyone stops living. <laughs> Did I get the hint? We got the bow. That was good. Yeah. yeah, I like I like yeah. rapid fire. This is good. Yeah. Um, all right, last one, last one. Here we go. Doctor Know It All, adorable Jess. Jess wants to know, what should you do if you have an enormous cockroach cockroach infestation? Whoa, whoa! There they are again with those giant cockroach questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just likes the cockroach. You have a giant cockroach. Ouch. <laughs> <I'm sorry about laughs> Infestation. You could get a big <laughs> Hold on one second, hold on. So I got something in my throat right there. Mm. Uh-huh. I like to get a big uh 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 sledge hammer and take that to their house. <laughs> Home, location, location. <laughs> and bash their faces in. <laughs> so much for ending on a high note. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we can still do that. Just get out that, that gun. Uh, <laughs> not that one. The other one. <laughs> oh, man. Well, thank you, uh, Dr. Know It All. And thank you, Wildcat, uh, for being on the show today. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. Yeah. Uh, let, uh, what's that again? It was a delight, fellas. I, I had yeah. a delight. I, I'm sorry that I cannot stay longer. I noticed that your chat numbers are up. Is there are there more questions? I would hate to leave if there are any questions. Uh, no, they're mostly just reacting to our, our, our craziness. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> um, uh, but I think I, I asked all the questions that were in the chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. Wonderful. Great. Yeah. Um, so, so yeah, people, but thanks. Yeah. Where can people yeah. find you, Wildcat? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, you can find me, of course, on Facebook. Just go to Wildcat Jackson. Uh, the Facebook page is there. And uh, we are actually performing uh, virtually at the Hartford, Connecticut Fringe Festival, which will be October 9th through November 9th. And you can find information for that on the Facebook page and also on our Instagram page, which is at Wildcat Monarch of the West. And on that page, you can find all kinds of nice little uh, photo, uh, little uh, little scrump scrumptious little ditties there. But uh, we are doing the festival uh, in October and November, but we also perform every Friday night on Facebook Live at eight o'clock, and you can uh, you can check us out tomorrow night. In fact, because Friday is coming, so and that's a twenty minute show. You can just kind of that that's our show that we like to do for the folks that want to put their kids to bed early and kind of have some nice little uh, some quiet adult time so they can bring their favorite favorite uh, beer or whatever. So BYOB and and kick back with us on Friday nights at eight o'clock. Friday nights at eight. All right, that's yes. awesome. All right, fellas. Yeah, hey, thanks, thanks again, fellas. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Hey, Ryan, thanks for all your hard work. Chuck, you stay chunky and cucumber. You know how it is. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Hey, fellas, don't forget to wash your hands now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, everybody. Yeah, Stick around for rating. Oh, all right. <laughs> if we're rating. I don't, I don't and know. We're